back to another video again. This is part three of the brainwashing, mind control, indoctrination, debating, freaking um, objection, hearsay, cross examination, direct examination, as well as indoctrination, all the one on that book up. Um, like I said before, the certain schools do not align one more code. I mean, forget the more code. They didn't line my line with the way I want things to be. Uh, sorry. My understanding, not my understanding. I have a code of conduct. Everyone has a code of conduct before. There's the A team code of conduct. There's the B team. There's a C team. There's a D team. There's the trash team. Then there's a super S team. There's bull crap out of this world team. And then there's me. According to my drill sergeant, I sit on my own team. And I tell them, oh, you know about that? I'm like, of course I do. I sit on my own team. Why would I not sit on my team? That's not good, but that's not bad as well. Well, bully goes to the face. I just get back up and laugh at people. Right now. Anyway, back to the subject here of debating here. Now, I'm going to go into debating to the art of war, and it's hard to say this because there was a time in middle school and high school, I said something that intimidated so and so much that went down the street naked, and I told myself I would have toned down, I would tone it a lot down in middle school into high school. Apparently, that wasn't a good idea. Apparently, these people do not understand that I already had a medical lab technician assistant, meaning that I can take your body apart. But, you know, I had to make people believe it. Back to the subject at hand. Um, basically, what that means is debating the art of war. You're going to consider the art of war as a form of debate, or war, debate as a war, which is why I said debating is a term of coming to an understanding or mutual agreement, give and take. Now, the reason I could say debating is war because most debate now is made by crushing your opponent and take, 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 take. Now, you guys already know how I group my people. There's I hate you, meaning anything about you, I hate your bloodline, your hair color, whatever. That's hatred. Apparently, people don't understand what hatred means, you know. Whatever. There's just, then there's the stranger group. I don't know you, you don't know me. Stay in your lane, I stay in my lane. Nuts that. Then there's the friend group. These are the people who want to be your friend. You don't know about these people. They're more than stranger than I am enemy. Who knows? Or hate, hate group, you know. These are friends people. And then there's family. Unfortunately for you, cause all three of those people come right in your hate group. Now, back to the auto war section, meaning that when you make a more code of conduct for the military rights or for a job rights or a business right, as a business owner, you should follow that own rule set. The reason why I say this is because the moment you as a business owner become crap, you are crap. No set. The moment you slip on a banana and you've been a jerk, douchebag, or a jerk the whole time, you guys know I did land surveyor in California or in other states before, and I just quit the job when they need me the most because I return favors. Yeah, I quit. Just put a check like this. I don't want to check. Take the check. I take my chance homeless. That's probably why they government gave me this stuff because they know that I just constantly bounce around from state from state. Literally bounce around from state from state. Get my education. I labor ready up around this part. Where you working, labor ready? You going to school, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to engineering school, but you know, that's just me. But anyway. Uh once you make your code of method and how you discipline those who break that code. First of all, you don't draft people. You saw what happened during the Vietnam War. You saw what happened during the Middle East. You saw what happened in Africa. You do not draft people into the military. You do not tell people to throw their lives down for something they don't believe and force them to do so. Or else you have that bullcrap happen. Now, this is where discipline comes in. You want people to volunteer for your stuff. We come to more code of conduct. We come to debating. You still follow your own code of conduct. So they can see what you are, and they can buy a tier for yourself, and they break their own stuff. You can discipline them, or set a discipline line, or set a way of training, getting a proper measurement down, or getting proper coding down. And then there's the energy level. You don't want to go to war with people who are drowsy, or you ready want to prick like me because no. Let me lose, boss. Let me lose. Uh, no, no, not today. I got this. No, 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 no. Is there six people? I got this. I got this. Okay, everybody does. I'm working out. Good. We're done. Not today. Today is my period day. What that means? It means everybody dies. But, you know, 
that's where you do not want that to happen because I can want to be still the whole city by myself a planet whatever that's the energy level which is why you come back to the debating and come back to the code of conduct now I'm gonna give my personal advice the military have the A team the B team C team like everyone else so if you want soldiers you want machines if you want dudes by people you get people because people have their own fluctuations of feeling because people make mistakes L if I said that L but Anyway, if your people like out here are disorderly, hit them with order. Attack them. If they're easy, make them easy. If they're not easy, they are easy. Hit them with the opposite of be polar opposites. There's a difference between contradiction and hypocrisy. Hypocrite is something that's in your control that you can do, which is come down to art of war. The art of war is based on deception. Nothing else. There's hypocrite and a contradiction. Contradiction sits outside of your Boundaries. It's not something that you have any say so or control over. To breathe is not to breathe. To live is to die. Because you're going to die in a way. Except for me. You're going to die in a way. So. That's a contradiction. It's out of your control. It's a total option. When there's light, there's darkness. Congratulations. Contradiction. Unless you go to a reality that have its own set of rules and that become other bull crap stuff. Now, all this leads into legal stuff where the objection come in objection is and dismissing inadmissible evidence or inadmissible testimony as we are discussed already now when you're objecting you know you gotta read your court rules and can you stand up do you gotta stand up when you object can you sit down when you object or do you have medical problems usually it's stand up most time but different states different stuff i know right one country one thing will be whatever anyway um, as I said before, the side boys, you need to be careful about it. Give your opponent when a side boy, it means they're going to try to negotiate. Like these dudes may try to do to me. We're not negotiating, prick. I want my stuff back. There's five 4K TVs, six heavy bags, another set of heavy bags, a car, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm getting my stuff back one way or another. We're not negotiating. Somebody's going to have to die around this part. Everybody dies. Let's call it that. We already know about the form of rejection and all this stuff, but like I said, this is more practical. This is more mixing and stuff because you cannot lead unless it's, you cannot lead the witness or lead your question unless it's a direct examination or dealing with a hostile subject or dealing with a matter at hand. Then there's non leading. You can non lead doing cross examination and direct examination as well, but you can never lead doing cross examination. So, congratulations. That's pretty much all the talking and blah 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 bull crap stuff. Tongue twisting people out there underwear and stuff. Pretty much it. So this leaves my hacking video, which I'm gonna show y'all. I need to make this computer science engineering freshman to the sophomore year stuff. Security stuff, which I need to show y'all. I'm also working on getting a new upgrading system to one of my laptops that got hacked again. I got a whole bundle of viruses, malware, spyware, key loggers, screen loggers that these juice bag people think they can do, but no. I would just put it together and just, here you go, it's yours. You can give it to me, but you can't take it? Pfft, really now. Nah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I still got electrophoresis, which I'm not going to do today. I still got the oil, lappy compound, potassium. Bar 9, I still gotta make that. I still gotta finish that 1911. And I'm rating on my base and clear code. I don't know if I wanna do it, code it, or serial code it. Or do it, bro? Serial code. Ooh, black inning, blue inning, red inning, orange I haven't decided yet. There's so many things. Because you already know that I had one of my firearms. And it took me two months to engrave it with a dragon on it. And somehow that might end up got stolen. Somehow these dudes bags here. That and I had another one where I just put a wolf pen on it and that got stolen. And I, yeah, like I said before, it's a good thing I don't have an APL or I have to report it to the ATL, which I did anyway. And now I gotta get my SFL due to other circumstances. Yeah, pretty much.